In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating the pH of a weak acid solution. So in this problem, you'll be given the formula of a weak acid, you'll be given its Ka value and also the concentration of the acid and you need to calculate its pH. To solve this problem, you need to write an ice table and that's going to start by writing a balanced chemical equation for the weak acid reacting with water, which is going to be a liquid. An acid is an H plus donor, so that means our acid is going to be converted by removing one of the hydrogen atoms and also taking the charge down by one. So we started with a, a zero charge, and that means we're going to end up with a negative charge. And that hydrogen that we removed from the acid is going to be transferred over to the water to produce H3O plus. These reactions always produce H3O plus. In our ice table, we're going to start with the initial concentration of the acid. In this case, it is 2.6 molar. We don't have any product initially. We do not know how much of this acid is going to react, so we're going to use X to represent the extent of the reaction, minus X for our reactant and plus X for our products. And at equilibrium, we're going to have 2.6 minus X for our reactant. We're going to make the assumption that because the Ka value is so small, the value of X is also going to be super small and the value of x is going to be nothing compared to 2.6. So we're going to assume that 2.6 minus x is just going to be equal to 2.6 um, and our products will be x and x. To calculate the pH, we're going to be using this equation pH equals the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. And in the ice table, the H3O plus concentration is right here. It is our x value. So that means we're going to need to know x. That's what we're going to plug in to the pH equation. So to solve for x, we need to set up an equilibrium expression. Ka equals our products, cyanide, Cn minus times H3O plus divided by our reactant HCN. We're leaving water out of this equilibrium expression because water is a pure liquid and we always omit pure liquids and also solids from the equilibrium expression. We're going to plug in our value of Ka, 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. We're going to be using X for the concentrations of our two products, so that'll be x squared, divided by the concentration of the HCN at equilibrium, which is 2.6. Now we just simply need to solve for x. 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 times 2.6. We'll take the square root of that number, and I'm getting 4.01 times 10 to the minus 5. That's my x value, and remember that's what we're plugging into the pH equation. Um, so negative log of 4.01 times 10 to the minus 5. And that is a 4.396. Alex says it wants one decimal place, so that was going to be a pH of 4.4. 4. 